presence to drop your word into our hearts. I'm praying and calling upon your name divine. Go with us. Speak to us. In Jesus name. Amen. As we discuss together. Do. Among us. Your will. Let your children get strength. From you. Let your children get inside visions from the Lord. Let your children receive how to do it better. Thank you, divine. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I'm talking to you on Planning for success in your ministry. Planning for success in your ministry. Your ministry. Your ministry. In the book of Romans, chapter 12. Romans chapter 12. I read from verse 12 and from verse 4. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, so we being many are one body in Christ and every one members one of another. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith or ministry, let us wait on our ministry or he that teacheth on teaching, or he that exhorted on exhortation, he that giveth, let him do it with simplicity, he that ruleth with diligence, he that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. Now, as the body is one and having so many members, so each one of these members have its own ministry. What I want to bring out here is that although we are all in holiness revival movement, you have your ministry, your function, your assignment, which God has given to you. And I'm talking today on planning for success in your ministry. Are you a chapter leader? Plan how to succeed in your chapter. Are you a unit leader? Plan how to succeed in your unit. Are you a zonal coordinator? Plan how to succeed in your zone. Are you a, a, a woman leader, women coordinator? Plan how to succeed in the area of assignment, that's ministry. The assignment is what I'm calling ministry. Your portion of work to do is what I am calling ministry. Plan it. Planning for success in your ministry. As a leader of a nation, plan. One thing I want to say, the Bible tells us, without vision, the people perish. Where no vision is, the people perish. That is it. If you are not seeing vision, what to do? 
how to improve on yourself definitely you will perish the work in your hand will not prosper yes the work in your hand will not prosper when you don't have vision when you don't have vision you're not planning your work will not prosper there are people who still do nothing as one of the leaders even state coordinator for that matter he could not expand his work from one chapter for three years or so. Why? There was no vision. There was no concern. So the world remains stunted. There are some that are not concerned for this work. Whether it grows, or does not grow. There's no concern. There's no vision. So, the work is not growing. But if you desire to grow, there must be plan. You must sit down and plan. In Luke chapter 15, Luke chapter 15, the prodigal son redeemed himself by planning. He redeemed himself from his situation by sitting down to plan. Maybe for, let's start it from verse 15 to 18. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country. And he sent him into his fields to feed swine. And he would fain have filled his belly with the hacks that the swine did eat and no man gave unto him. You can see the condition. Is not the work in your hand in this condition deplorable, shameful, that you are called a leader and there's no progress? You are called a leader and there's no growth. The people themselves are refusing you. Yet you are called a leader. Eyes have not yet come to you from the headquarters. You have not yet been located. But see the complaint. Complaint. Even you yourself, are you satisfied by what you see? Have you reached, reached your end? Have you tried all your energy? Or you don't bother? You should border. It is at the point of bordering that strength comes to make progress. So look at this man. He couldn't find food of pigs to eat. Now he came to himself. How many hired servants of my fathers have much to eat, even to store? I am perishing. My brother, why should the work perish in your hand? Why should not this work grow year to year? No growth. No single person comes in. And they're deceiving you that that place is hard. You agree? That place is hard. You cannot get it. You agree? The Bible says to him that has not no progress. Even the, that which he has shall be taken away. Even the members shall be withdrawing. You're not going forward. 
The ones that are there cannot remain. They are withdrawing. Your unit, your chapter, your zone, your state, your nation, your region. So, this man now said in verse 18, I will arise and go to my father. There must, I must come out of this state. My brother, my sister, come out of that state of no progress. No soul. No, no development. No church. You're not building any structure. You're not renting any more halls. Hall, renting meeting places. You have remained in dilapidated place that does not show God the glory. Does not show the glory of God to people. You remain there. Rain is falling. You are saying there is no money. Who told you? The people, the work that is going on, is it money or faith? Is the heart? Is the mind? Money is there, but money is looking for the person that qualifies, that is looking for it. Seek and ye shall find. Ask and it shall be given you. Knock and the door shall open. I am saying something is wrong with you. You are sitting down there like Eli, fattened with other things. But the real work of righteousness is not going on. The real work of holiness is not going on among you, even in your life, even in your family. You don't have vision for your family. How to work on your family, pray, do all to bring them to righteousness. You don't bother. Your child can bring a girlfriend to your house and sleep there. Boyfriends are visiting your house. To see your daughter laugh at the corner, into her room, and you are there, not bothering, not caring, not doing anything, not knowing that God is angry with you. You're not purging yourself. Your wife is not even attending the meeting. Your wife doesn't go to church, doesn't go even Zoom meeting. If she doesn't come, you don't know, you have nothing to do, you have lost your saltiness. You are waiting for somebody to come and take over. That's what you are, you are, you are, you are speaking of. Because you are not laboring to come out of that state. The prodigal son labored to come out of his state of death. Things are dying around you. You are not laboring to come out of it. To come out of your state. You are not doing extra things. Spending extra time. Going into fasting and prayer. Doing more studies. Look at this man. His condition. And the burden that followed. Met him to do something. He said. When he came to himself. I think the whole thing is that you must come to yourself. That you are appointed. What have you achieved as an appointed man? What have you achieved as an appointed woman? What have you achieved? You must come to yourself. Are you qualified to make it to heaven by that type of walk, state? You must come to yourself. When this man, is a, when he came to himself, he realized his state. He realized that something must be done over his state. Otherwise, he was gone. Yes, he would be gone. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my fathers have bread enough and to spare? And I perish with anger. You are responsible. You are perishing with anger here because you are responsible. Come to yourself. The church is not growing. You are responsible. Things are not moving. You are not building new places. You are not buying land. You are responsible. You are not visiting people to know how they are doing. You are responsible. You are responsible. You are responsible. You are responsible. Come to yourself. Move. Don't stand still there. 
You have not done enough to sit down. You have not done enough to sit down. How many hired servants of my fathers have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with anger? I will arise. That is determination that will make you rise. That determination, spoken in words, will, release, will, will supply the energy of rising up. Have a vision. I will arise. That is a vision. I will arise. That is a vision. I will arise and go to my father. It's a vision. And without vision, the people perish. Without your thinking to improve your state, improve your spiritual life, improve your ministerial life, you are in perishing. Without vision, the people perish. I will arise and go to my father. I go and seek help. Take God seriously in your case. Go to him. Go to him. To your father. To help you. Otherwise, you are losing your call. You are losing your value. Another man will take over. God will cause it. Another man will take over. If the world will die in your hand. And he will turn your back, his back at you. Go to God and do something. In your ministry as a woman. In your ministry as a state coordinator. How many crusades have you held? How many conferences? There are people that are replaying these youth messages. Great messages. To their own people. Why are you not thinking like that? You say there's no money. That's a man sitting still who doesn't have vision. You can do it in small, small, small groups. What has money to do with it? Have you asked God for money he didn't give you? Did you go out to call for money and the money didn't come? Or just because you lack the vision to replay these youth messages for people? I don't have money. You have. Money is in the corner. You have not turned to it. You are not looking for it vigorously. Your key got lost and you sat in one place saying, my key is lost, waiting for the day key will appear. Are you not the one to go vigorously to look for the key? Open up this, open up that, open up this, draw this one out, push this one to look for key? Are you not the one to stand up? And be connecting, asking help, move here, move here, to bring revival to your place. I will arise and go to my father. I will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee. Maybe your case is even sin. You are sinning. It must start from you, confession of sin. You are a bad man. You are an angry man. You are a lazy man. You are a fighter. Go back to God and confess your sins. Nobody has located to you yet. Cry to him. Confess. Forgive me, Lord. I want to start again. Forgive me, Lord. I want to start again. I will arise and go to my father and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee. And I am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. This man recognized both heavenly leadership of God and human leadership of man. Have you gotten at me? Have you gotten at God? Have you sought wisdom from me? Have you sought counsel from me? How you can improve? How you can do it better? How you can achieve your vision? Have you asked help? Have you called upon God? Or you sit down there busy on another matters? A matter of eternal life. You have no, you have no, you have no control. You have no thought about it. Matter of people sleeping from your hand to hell. You are not thinking about it. This man said, I have sinned before God and before man. I need forgiveness from both. I need help from both. 
Have you sought vigorously over other leaders, your senior leaders? Help me, your neighboring leaders. Help me. Have you done that? Why is the work drying in your hand? Why? And here, make me as one of your hired servants. I'm ready to serve. I am ready to serve. It's not to sit dignified as a son to a great man. Everybody should serve me. Go and serve. Serve your members. Don't wait for them to serve you. Greet your members. Don't wait for them to greet you. Do good to your members. Don't wait for them to do good to you. I, I, I am ready to be a servant. I am among you as he that serve it. Jesus said so. I am among you. As he that is serving people. I have not come as a master. Why are you making yourself a master? Why are you so great? Greater than your people. Are they the ones to serve you or you are the one to serve them? Why are you angry at them and rejecting them? Then whom will you serve who, when you have rejected all of them? When you have become angry with all of them? When you have turned your back at all of them? Whom then do you serve? Are they to serve you as master? I am among you as seed that serve it. So go and be a servant. To those people. Yes. And he arose. Today, you will do something in your life. And he arose. Today, it's not just imagination. You will arise and do something. Today, start planning. You are going to buy a place. You are going to build a place. You are going to rent another chapter. You are going to do another thing. You are going to organize program. Today, today, today. Start thinking about it. You will organize a program. You will invite somebody, somebody to come in. One of your colleagues. You are going to invite him to come and do something for you in your place. Today I will arise. He arose. Today take action. Action. Today is action day. Today is action day. You are forgetting the Christian. In fact, you are forgetting Horemo. You are forgetting Horemo. You have not even listened to any message of Horemo for long now. Today, go and listen to one message. Today. You have not read any book for long. Today, go and pick a book and start. Day of action. Day of action. I will arise. And he arose. And he arose. And did what was in his heart. And it worked for him. There was revival. Yes. And in verse 21. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight, and I am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best robe, and put it on him, and put a ring on his son, and shoes on his feet. And bring hither the fatted calf and kill it and let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to be merry. Almighty Father, all my coordinators that are dead, may they be alive again. O oh Lord divine. All my coordinators that have been lost to the world, Father, let them be found to you again. They are dead in holiness movement. Father, raise them up again. Let them see the holiness movement is still alive. It's as vibrant as the Lord has said it. All those who are sleeping, wake them up in Jesus' name. My Father, all the chapter leaders, all the, house, uh, the, the, the unit leaders, the zona leaders, state coordinators, national coordinators, father, women coordinators, women leaders, wake them up in Jesus' name. Amen. Wake them up in Jesus' name. Amen. Let them go and do their work. They have, been, they have abandoned the work like the priest that left the temple and then people are no more coming to the temple. They left the temple and went to their business. Oh, Jesus, pull them back. Lord Jesus, wake them up. Lord Jesus, look, use your staff 
to draw them back. Pull them back. In Jesus name. Amen. Let them remember holiness movement as of old. They are the one thinking that there is no revival anymore. Not knowing that it is because of them. As a man is, so he is. As a man thinking, so he is. It is that there is no revival in their lives. They have not kindled revival in their environment. So they think every other place is like that. Cancel that in their minds. In Jesus name. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. Let them know that it is them. That there is no revival in their lives. But there is revival in other places. The rain is falling everywhere. In other places. It's only in their village. In their community. The rain of holiness. Is not falling because they are doing nothing about it. Because they are not praying. Because they are not calling upon God. They are not laboring. They, they are not watering their places. So they think that everywhere is dry like that. My God, wake them up in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. So, please, wake up. The Lord is ready to rejoice with you again. God is ready to rejoice with you again. God is ready to rejoice with you again. And the father was happy. Happy. Happy with them. Happy with My child was dead. Brother, that dead spirit, I call upon heaven for you. Let it come back alive in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, my sister. Your mind left. Your mind left. Left God. Went to another thing. Went for money. You are not busy anymore. You have even lost the prayer life. Oh, the Lord quicken you again. May the Lord quicken you. Come back in Jesus' name. Amen. That is the prayer. That is what God wants you. Holiness movement, back, to, back again to originality. In your own life. It is original in my life. It is original in my life. It is original in my environment. I'm still as I have been. I am still as I have been. I'm speaking as I have been speaking. Because I'm still awake. I'm still alive to the end. I shall remain unto the end. Paul says, for me to live is Christ. For, as, for me to live is Christ. Woe is me if I don't preach this gospel. How will you? You're not evangelizing again. How will you? You're not sharing books again. How will you? You're not sharing, sharing the, 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 the WhatsApp again. Why will you? You're not sending messages again. How will you? How will you? You're not excited in posting messages again. Come back. The Lord, the Lord do it for you. The Lord pour fire upon your life. Fire. Fire upon your life. Fire upon your life. Wake up. Let the burning fire of God. Jeremiah said, I want to shut up my mouth. But the fire was burning in me. So I, have, I could not shut up my mouth. Let that fire kindle again in you. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Thank you Father. Amen. Worship you God. Amen. Now, you stand up and do something. In the book of Luke chapter, Luke chapter 16. Luke chapter 16. Planning for Success in your ministry. It is time to plan now. You have received exhortation. Rise up. Now plan. The prodigal son has risen up. And he took action. Now I'm taking you to the planning, planning part of it. In chapter 6 of Luke verse 1. And he said also unto his disciples. There was a certain man, a certain rich man, which had a steward, and the same was accused unto him that he had wasted his goods. And he called him and said unto him, How is it that I hear this of thee? Give an account of thy stewardship, for thou mayest be no longer steward. Then the steward said within himself, what shall I do? For my Lord take it away from me, the stewardship. I cannot dig to beg, I am ashamed. Can you see the, the situation? 
Something is spoiling around you. If you sit still, it will spoil. It will be taken away from you. It is your Lord that will take it away. It is your Jesus that will take it away. It is your Jesus that will turn off from you. Because he gave you that word for a long time, nothing is happening. He came and saw the tree in the garden and said, I have come for this tree for three years. It's cumbering the ground. Cut it down. Why is it, why is it cumbering the ground? But then, opportunity has come for the fourth year of manoeuvring. For the fourth year of fertilizing. For the fourth year of dressing. To see what will happen to you. Plan now. The thing is pushing you to the end. The matter is pushing you to the end. Satan has taken advantage over you for too long. Sit down and plan. This man said, my master is coming to take the steward from me. I am about to be dropped away as a chapter leader. If they discover this situation I've been, I will lose my state as a, as a coordinator. If they discover this state I am in, I'm gone. I am gone. And if this thing is gone, see, I've enjoyed the presence of God. I've enjoyed fellowship with my brethren. And they have recognized me. They have even seen me that I am a senior. But now, what is happening? Things are getting worse with me. They are taking away this thing from me. Satan is taking away this ministry from me. Human beings are even complaining against me. My members are complaining. They are writing to the headquarters. They are telling me that I should be removed. If I don't do anything, I will be gone. Listen, if you are gone, you'll be worst. If you are gone, you'll be worst. If you are gone, you'll be worst. I'm telling you, it's activity that keeps you alive. Activity keeps you trying and blood is moving in your body. It's because you're among the people. It is because you are there, you are laboring too. You are shaking yourself. Be gone and you'll be gone. Be gone and you'll be gone. Let them complain on you and you're no more. You will see what, 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 what you will suffer spiritually. Don't think that hey, they can take it away. Don't bother. You will bother. You will bother. Because the presence of God they're taking away. It's the second degree that they're removing from you. How can a, how, how can a general say, hey, let them remove my, my rank. I let them demote my own bother. Who told you? Demote you from a general and bring you to a, to a, a lower rank. And you say it will not mean anything. You are no more in the meeting of generals. You are no more called a general. You are no more associating with general. In fact, you will be guilty. You will be carrying inferiority complex. Don't say like that. Don't, tell, don't think that if they remove you from this war, it will mean nothing. It will mean big. Even if you backslide. Even backsliding of your life. This work you are doing is even the one helping you a little. Satan, Satan is fearing you. People are praying for you. Get out of this work and see whether you will live and enjoy your Christian life again. You will be gone. You will grow beard. You will grow spiritual beard. Spiritual gemu. If you don't do gemu, it's called beard. You will grow mustache if you are out of this environment. So why are you not doing something about it? Why are you not working hard to be alive? Why are you not working out to maintain the grace God has called you to? Please wake up. This man said, they are taking away from me this stewardship. They are taking it away. They are taking it away, this stewardship. And he said, hey, what will I do? He said, I cannot dig. To beg, I am ashamed. My hands Cannot hold something to dig ground and break stone to make money. My hands will peel. And because I am fat looking fine, how will I go about with all this suit I have to be begging money? The people say, what do you mean? What, are you mentally affected? So to beg, I am ashamed. What will I do? Sit down and plan. How do you bring out your state? How do you bring out yourself from your state. How do you change your movement in that place? How do you work on your country? How do you appease to those people and make friendship with them? How do you make it? I'm telling you. How do you recover your favor? 
How do you recover your favor before God and man? How do you recover revival of your personal life? How do you recover consecration? Your preaching power. How do you recover your prayer power? To beg, you are ashamed. To dig, you cannot do it. Ex just plan. I have to sit down and plan for this movement to move forward. For you to make progress. Sit down and plan. The man sat down and planned. And ideas came unto him. If ideas of evil would come into a man that, to bring out himself from shame and from digging, can ideas of good, ideas of righteousness, ideas of progress, ideas of success come from God to you? If you consult him, if you sit down and plan, if you ask for counsel, if you call me and say, Pastor, just I want give me some few minutes. I want to discuss. I want some, please help me bring out some wisdom for me. Ideas will come to your life and you will be better. Look at this man. Look at him. He said, I am resolved. What to do is because of sitting and thinking. Is consulting with the second level. Is consulting with himself. Consulting with his inner man. He has taken counsel from many people. Now he said, I am resolved. What to do? That when I am put out of the stewardship, they may receive me into their houses. This is evil. What about you? Are you a sinner? Are you a child of Satan? Is it not God that called you? If you go to God, will he not tell you what to do to bring out yourself from your state? If you go to God, will he not tell you what to bring what to do to revive those people under you? Even those people who have left, will God not tell you how to, how to re recover them? Look at this man. I am resolved. What to do? My brother, I am pushing you to the wall because you are standing still. The thing is collapsing in your hand. The Bible says, they strengthen the things that remain. Strengthen the things that remain. That remain. Some things have already died. Have already died. But something good still remains. Strengthen them. Rise up and do it. Rise up and do it. Strengthen the thing that remains. Rise up and do it. And bring revival back to holiness movement. Where you are, where you are put entitled to. Where the work is given to you to run. Rise up and strengthen it. Strengthen the thing that remains. Let angels know that you are in the number. Working for Jesus. Brought into holiness movement. Let Jesus know that you are in the, in, the, in the number that he has appointed, that you have not gone. Let the Holy Ghost supply your portion. Strengthen the thing that remains. Rise up and do something. Plan. Sit down. Plan. Bring back holiness movement. Bring revival. Revival. Bring back revival to your life and to the people. To your life and to the people. Let us hear testimonies again about you. Let us hear testimony again. My brother, Rise up upon your feet and go before the Lord in prayer. My sister, you are not calling vain. Some of you are eating fat from holiness movement. No result. Rise up. Let's go to God in prayer. Tell God I'm resolved. I can't sit like that anymore. I will arise. I will arise. I will arise. I will do something. I won't be ashamed. I won't be a castaway. In Jesus' name. Go before the Lord in prayer. Hallelujah. Oh Jesus, my God, move forward among your people, quicken them, touch them, touch them. The slumber ones, those who are slumbering among them, those who are slumbering among them, they are not caring for the flock, they are not, they are caring for themselves. Oh, hmm. Do it, my brother. Rise up and do it. Let me hear that you're doing it. Tell me. Please call me and tell me what you have started doing. In Jesus' mighty name. Oh, my father. Power upon these people. My father. Grace upon these people, men and women. Oh. Rise up the backslider. We have not known them yet. But God, you know them. Recover them. Let them go into the ministry. Thank you, Lord. 
Give me oil in my life and keep me burning. I need your oil in my life, I pray. Give me oil in my life to keep me burning. Keep me burning to the break of the day. I need your oil, oh my Lord, to keep me burning. I need your oil, Father, I pray. I need your oil in my life to keep me burning. Keep me burning to the close of the day. I need your power, oh my God, to keep me walking. I need your strength, oh my God, I pray. I need anointing in my life to keep me walking. Keep me walking till the break of the day. Give me oil, oh my God, to keep me walking. Give me oil, oh my Lord, I pray. I need your oil, oh my God, to keep me breaking, keep me walking, keep me walking to the close of the day. Worship you divine. Worship you divine. Worship you divine. Father, let the power fall upon your people. Let the power fall on them. Let the power fall on them. Power, power. Let your power fall on them. Power fall on them. Power fall on them. Thank you. Worship. Go for programs. Go for evangelism. Raise up projects. The Lord will sponsor them. The Lord, he will sponsor them. In Jesus' name. Cry to God. Cry to God. Don't be a castaway. Paul said, I'm laboring not to be a castaway. Please plead with God that he should not cast you away. Cry to him that he should not cast you away. Tell Jesus he should not cast you away. He should help you to stand. Burn your light to the break of the day. Until the rapture. Ah. Make a promise, make a promise, make a promise. Thank you, Jesus. God, pick your children. Pick them. Pick them. Oh Lord, pick them. Pick them. Pick them. Oh Lord, revive them. Pick them. Commission them. Recover them. Renew their visions. Jesus, them.
Thank you, Lord. 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 Ah. My God, my God, my Lord, Jesus, my God, lay hand upon them. My God, lay hand upon them. Thank you, Jesus. Give them the money. Give them the vision. Give them the open door. Compel them to work for you. Compel them to work for you. Compel them to work for you. My divine. Let them go and work. Let's have converse standing for Jesus. Give me that old time religion, old time religion, old time hooray more is good enough for me, old time hooray more, old time hooray more, old time hooray more is good enough for me give me that old time horemo old time horemo full of vision is good enough for me oh 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 enough for me give me that old time horemo all time more all time more enough for me give me that all time more all time more give me that all time more it is good enough for me good for my brother good for my sister good for the brethren Enough for us, give us that old time worry more. Old time worry more. Old time worry more is good. Enough for us, give us that old time. Father, give us that old time worry more. Old time worry more is good. Enough for us, give me that old time worry more. Give me that old time worry more. Old time more enough for me. It was good for my brother, good for my sister, good for my brethren. Enough for me. It was good for my own brother, good for my own sister, good for my own brethren. It's good enough for me. Give me that old time. Oh, oh, enough for me. Give me that old time hurry more. Old time hurry more. Old time hurry more is good. Enough for me. It was good for my own brother. 
Good for my own sister. Good for my own brethren. It is good. Enough for me. Give me that old. Father, give me that old time worry more. Among my brethren is good. Enough for me. Give me that old time worry more. Among my brethren, old time worry more. I say, enough for us. Give us that old time worry more. Old time worry more. Old time worry more. It's good. Enough for us. It is good for us, my Jesus. Good for us, my Father. Good for us, my Holy Ghost. It's good enough for me. I say good for me, Lord Jesus. Good for me, Lord Jesus. Good for me, Lord Jesus. It's good enough for me. Oh, oh, oh. Enough for us. I say oh. Give us that oh, oh, enough for us. Give us that old time hurry more. Old time hurry more. Old time hurry more. It's good enough for me. It was time for fire. Time for the holiness. Time for your righteousness. It is not all I say. Time for your fire, time for holiness, time for righteousness. We love the day of all. Give us that old time hooray more, old time hooray more, old time hooray more. It's good enough for us. Oh, 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 enough for us. Oh, 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 enough for Ask for holy more. Ask for holiness revival movement. Ask for it as it came in original. Ask for it. Ask for it. Jesus. In Jesus. Worship. Thank you for answering. Jesus name we pray In Jesus name we pray now now lay hand upon yourself a new vision from the Lord a new power a new commission he has given us the world to win for him. Receive your portion of power. Receive your portion of grace. In Jesus name. Almighty Father. Today. Is a day of renewal. Let the Holy Ghost. Come upon your children. Ye shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Fill them with the Holy Ghost. In Jesus name. Let them go again. And do this work. Start afresh. With perfect righteousness. The Lord will dim you. From lethargy. The Lord will dim you. From being dead. The Lord recover you from your lost position. 
Receive vision for this work in Jesus' name. Amen. Go back and for this work. Return, O oh Jonah. Return. Go to the place the Lord has sent you. And cause repentance in Nineveh. Cause revival in Nineveh. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Worship God. Worship him. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. The Lord is excellent. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, Revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4348. You can also reach us through our email address, holinessrevivalmovement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe
I believe in you. You are the living Savior. I believe in you. I love you, Lord. I love you. I believe. Savior. Jesus, I believe. 